Boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit. lit, lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like one of my favorite songs. Check it, check it, check it. It's your boy ECO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way, and we creating content every down day. Yo, 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 man. Hey, it's going down, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. We back, man. Money Mo, what's up, baby? Man, having a good time, bro. Man, hey, time. man. We got this guy today, guys. He don't need no introduction, man. He showed up, man. We didn't know if he was going to show. He showed up, man. This boy is here, man. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. My boy, Supreme. Man, Bob McGriff, man. Check him out. He here, baby. What's, what's going happening? on? What's happening? Man, hey, man. You ain't been on here since you co host this thing, man. Yeah, man, I had to take a break from the uh, from the public uh, interviews and all of that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. The thing, you, the thing I want to just say, man, is thank you for coming on the show. Hey, 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 check it, man, check it, man. So, man, God, dog, man, hey, man. So you was on here, man, and uh, last time you was on here, uh, Melvin Farmer was on here, yeah. OG Percy was on here. It was a lot of rumors going on. That was that the night that everything transpired, <laughs> man. Uh, you had it, you know, fired up over. Here. Everybody was talking. The bloggers was talking. The, the internet went crazy the last time yeah. you was over here. Sure. I don't know what happened to make people feel like that was some. Altercation over here, but it was a thing where you you was on blog sites after that for days trying to clear this thing up. Bro, it was somebody <laughs> talking too much. Something happened, man. Said something happened. Too- <laughs> something happened, <laughs> man. It, it got out for we even left. Nah, here. for real. It was niggas was talking, out. man. <laughs> nigga was talking. It was nigga that was here that was talking yeah, evidently. I know who it is too. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> but it, it, at any rate, man. Who, who wanted? Who was? No, we ain't doing it. Ain't doing it. Ain't doing it. I know it's gonna be a problem. And I don't want I mean I don't want the problems right now. Yeah, yeah we got right too much now. work, man. Right we now. doing, man, to be getting caught up in controversy. Yeah. So you well, see, anytime you come this, in it, this full of controversy. I know it. Anytime this, this nigga it can be come controversial on camera, not out camera. Sure. <laughs> That's right. That's, get that, yeah. that get it get it understood. Yeah, do it. So man, let, let's let's talk about it though, man. Like you one of those guys, man, in Fort Worth. I always tell you, man, that really, you know, when it comes to the Go Yayos, the uh when it comes to the uh uh uh, Kenny B been on here, man. Spoke highly of you and, and how you influenced, you know, what he was doing. You was a part of it. You might, you know, you might have to say, "Oh man, I did this, I did that." But he, just for him to acknowledge that, man, the way people be, you know, doing, that's dope, man. You you show poise. Uh, your boy, uh, what's that other little cat name? You do the uh, throw that say. You know, yeah, it's been God. a lot of people come on here that show. K Breezy, K Breezy, man. Uh, uh, why do you think people? you know, sometimes uh, try to downplay what you've done in the city? Well, those people are, uh, well, I'm going to just say this. I don't, like a punk not liking me or a line on me don't really bother me. When when all the real guys and the real people fool with me, then I'm, I'm cool with that. Like, so the people that don't like me or make up shit about me are guys that I wouldn't hang out with anyway from now or 10 years ago or ever, 10 years in the future. So, it, you know, it, it's just... It's always a good versus evil, you know what I'm saying? And I'm the real deal, and they know that. And I don't be on here talking like that, and I don't be chasing clout. So that's why I get caught up in the, you know what I'm saying? But the real always prevail, you know that. So you and, like, last time you was here, you had brought, actually, break down what happened, because you brought OG Percy on here. (laughs) OG Percy said on that statement that he had never really met a real uh, crip from uh, 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 from Los Angeles till that day and he said he was pretty he was much he was yeah. star-struck. Star-struck. No, star-struck. star-struck yeah what, what, he even said hold on he even said on camera then gonna try to put it like he didn't see it like but, it's on camera yeah. yeah. Well, I can't go by what you said because you and you and you on you, camera. Go look on my <laughs> listen. Go look on my YouTube pages on there. He was stuttering. He even said it. So, uh, did, when you brought him over to introduce him to Melvin Farmer, what was that conversation like before it all? You know, uh, how? Oh, it was a. Uh, so Percy understood two three days before when me you and Melvin spoke on the phone. I got off the phone with y'all and I let Percy know what was going on. He knew then that this was an opportunity for him to expand his brand. This was not this was not a monetary situation for him because just like when he came previously and was paid for his service. So so you you because he um uh, he seemed like 
you and him had an understanding that he was gonna get some kind of pay for coming on Boss Talk 101 when we had uh, we had Melvin Farmer here. That was our main guest for that day. Yeah. So that was how did, me, how did he get that? How did he get that sideways? How did he get that twist? Cause me and you never discussed no price. Exactly. But when I brought him the first time, did we discuss a price? Yes. And then he was paid, correct? Correct. So why wouldn't it happen again if that was discussed? I get it, but he seemed to feel like it he don't matter was, what he seen or what he talking about. He making up stuff. So he made that up. He oh, was, a, a thousand percent. Yeah, of course. Okay, so I have you guys worked together anymore since that happened? We haven't worked together, but he apologized to me a few times. He uh, apologized. He hated yeah, happening. Sure. Yeah, he and he because I ain't never what he what happened after that. What he had to deal with with with, with Charleston. Okay. He had to call me and apologize or text me or whatever because you know I didn't do nothing to him. I gave him that was an opportunity that he messed up, not me. Yeah, but that was my so last time. He don't apologize to you? Yeah, for sure. And not a nobody few times. else. <laughs> he ain't call you either. No, I ain't heard from him. So why he ain't calling apologize to the establishment where he did it? I apologize to you to the yeah, you did. We did it, it, but he yeah. did it, not you. Uh, he did it. He a grown man. Well, yeah. it was a thing why they both had contribution to doing it because it happened in nah, the school. man. I, yeah, <laughs> now y'all both were, y'all were both pretty active and y'all no, were like pit bulls told, in he here. He told his man to go outside. We can go outside and talk about it. He yeah, didn't want to do that. He want to show out. Yeah, he did say that. I give you that. So much. I don't want to hear that. He want to show out. But we don't want to hear that. <laughs> he want to show out in front of all these grown folks. Hey, man, I said we got. Now you know, Percy, OG Percy got people fans that they bro, don't like don't you care. behind <laughs> you and him having that conversation. I don't care. They you mad on me? No, they pull up on me. See what this I got to deal with? They they had. You remember when you brought him the first time? Him and him and OG Percy had a little back and forth, a little bit, a little sauce, a little sauce. I want number some words. That's all. Yeah, y'all was just talking. You yeah, said just, that. It, just talking. Yeah, because people be giving you a bad rap. They say you Bro. like you you cocky, like you quick tempered. There's some people being that comments be messing with you. That's cool. It's all on the internet though. <laughs> I like Money Moses. You like like his it's all on the internet, bro. I love this dude, man. This dude, he, he really <laughs> one of them star players over here, man. Yeah. And I love the fact when he show up, man, he gonna make sure to he speaks his mind. I, I tell you that much. And then, it's just the internet, though, bro. All they do is talk on the internet. But when you tell me in person, they like fans. Yeah. They fans? Yes, bro. I had some yesterday. That was so. Oh was yeah, so they, crazy. Wait, where was you at? Oh, that, bro, that pool party. That pool party. That was crazy, bro. Man, you crazy. you one of them guys, man. Yeah. But it was some listen. It was some people there. I'm not gonna say their name. But they was in there saying, I'm the famous, most famous person there. I'm like, bro, no, I'm not, bro. These <laughs> niggas got, look, these niggas got money, like money, like out the ass money. I'm like, bro, this nigga got, bro. Like, they nah, like your you. style, bro. Like it's, you, your, bro. it's your star power, man. Mm -hmm. You a bad boy, man. Yeah. It was, it was, it was saying, they were saying money most from boss talk. So hey, that boy, talk. that boy, that boy, hey, that boy, one of them guys. But So when you think about it, though, when you think about just the fact that that, that happening that night, you, what I, what did that do for you? Like, how did you feel about it happening? Bro, it was crazy. I had the same bag on. I put, <laughs> I put the same bag down on that table over there. And so he had to go. Like, you had to go because you're not going to disrespect this establishment like that, bro. And he trying to tell you uh, you can handle it a different way. But you're not trying to handle it a different way. You're trying to handle it your way, your way only. So what well, comes with that? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, so, <laughs> it, it, but you know, like I said, man, I definitely, I love the fact that I ain't gonna lie, OG Percy, hell of an interviewer. I still, he'll be back on here, so y'all yeah, gonna I mean, get to talk. He, he a good I'm gonna person. bring that nigga back That's on. Cool. I told you that the other day. I just ain't talked to him yet, but I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna get Bro, him back over. Yeah, it's, all, it's all good. This ain't no love lost with now, Percy. Would you be willing to sit down with him and talk on about the interview? What, what we gonna talk about? Just, 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 hey, man, you know, just his interview, the, 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 just mending the gap. I he apologized to. to you formally, yeah. or did he? Have you seen? Him in person, no, I ain't seen him in person. Yeah, I like to set you guys down and talk to y'all, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm not opposed to, but like now when I'm sitting down, he is for a purpose. You did, I get I'm it, busy. man. You busy, you yeah, ain't really got, got time to, to even worry yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, I ain't, yeah, yeah, I get it's it. It's for a purpose. <laughs> You can sit down and talk to me. I promise you it's for a purpose, bro. <laughs> it's for a purpose. The tension's gonna be off you. I promise you that. It's gonna be off you. You gonna be here? Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be right, right here. You over there? He you over there? Here. You, he right there? And I'm sitting right here. We gonna talk. We can talk it out. So let me ask you, man. So you one of those guys, man, that basically, man, when I think of you, man, I, I think about the different interviews, but it, Rainwater been on here a few times. He one of the managers out here in Dallas. Um, you know, um, you and him, y'all have y'all ever really worked together at any point? Um, how I even know uh, that dude, uh, he used to call my phone and try to pick my brain, like at least, if not three times a month, at least two times a month, he would call me from Yayo to J-O to Kenny B. He, I, I talked to this dude a lot of occasions. Um, and so working together, like me, me, 
giving him pointers on a few little things. Um, that's about it. But like working together, never. Mm-mm. So, but you, you, because so you could, would you say you, you kind of influenced his, his career? Uh, I made managing cool out here in the deal. So basically, period. before you was doing it, it, it wasn't cool. Uh, I mean, I don't know what was going on. I just know I came around and and, it, and, and I did what why I did. Why was he calling you? I mean, shit. Because you was the link I to mean, the people. Hey, I, I don't, I don't know why he was calling me. He didn't want nothing. He was wanted to pick my brain. That's all it was. Okay. All right. So when you this true story. This Rain was smart though. He's smart when it comes to stuff like like. He's trying to figure it out yeah. because he he he, 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 he going to figure it out. Yeah, that's the way he do it. So when you think about you know you and him, uh, it was it, it was some text messages sent. Oh, this recent. This like recent. less than a week ago. Oh yeah, yeah, what? yeah. Explain to me what happened. All on right. That. So right now I'm working on a monumental project with my guy Hollywood. It's a uh, documentary on the the. The Latino culture in Fort Worth, and it's huge. So somehow he saw us in a neighborhood in Fort Worth um, on the north side, you know, doing what we do. And he DM'd the guy. Uh, he was like, I don't fool with Supreme. Which that, How did he that, find that, out you was dealing with the guy? Man, I don't know what this dude got going on, man. I don't know he, if he watching me. They all watch my page from fake pages. This is what they do. So he said he didn't deal with you. He said, I don't fool with Supreme. And, and the dude was like, oh, for real? He was like, yeah, he's a, he's a rat. And he's, oh, he's, a, uh, and he's an FBI informant. An uh, FBI agent or some shit, he said, man. Call, text and, and message. You got the text message. Yeah, you got give me, them. Give me those texts. Yeah, yeah. Check get them to me. I, I looked at it. I didn't see it a while ago. Send, make sure I get them, though. Because I'm going to put them up on the screen. Yeah, because yeah. Because I, I want, I, I mean, because you, have you ever snitched on somebody? Man, I've never been to prison before at all. Damn sure I ain't never told on nobody. Well, you know, why? what would make him say that? Because you and him, was y'all was, y'all talked before. Nah, we, we wouldn't. We have y'all been, ever been friends? Why would y'all talk on the to, phone? For, for us to even have a, a conversation on the line, we were, um, Friends is a strong word for a guy like that. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. But uh, I'm not a like at the time he wasn't how he how he is now. Check your phone too. He wasn't like that. So when he calling my phone, it's yeah, it's, a, got it's an admiration to it. You dig what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. And I'm not gonna turn him down. Just you feel me? I'm gonna give him the game. That's what I do, and that's what I did. So. Why would I, I'm reading text message you sent it to me? You it said I don't f with Supreme. He, yeah. He a rat. <clears throat> Yes, he worked for the FBI. <laughs> FBI. That's why he bringing them cameras to y'all hood. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say, why would that nigga do that? And, and who, man, that, went so to, that went to Hispanics. Yeah, this was the other day, man. It's recent. So so basically, did that put you in any kind of so uh, altercation? Because if you call somebody a rat nigga there hood. You go. And these guys ain't playing over there where we was at. E. They serious business about their business. Man, so. you make me think of training day when they dropped that white boy off, <laughs> That's man. That's where we yeah. was. <laughs> Yeah, we be, that's where we be at. That's where we be at. So then the, on the flip side, if we're being funny, just think about the safety. No, nah, that's that real. Line that's that real. You dig that, what I'm saying? Were you guys able to? Uh, were you okay. guys able to? Uh, uh, um, how did y'all? How did y'all figure it out so that it didn't become something that could have escalated? What you mean? How could we figure? How did y'all figure it out? Because those guys could have took that literally, and it could have been a bad situation. Oh yeah, for y'all. yeah. So, so I'm saying, how did y'all figure out how to defuse it? I mean, when you when you when you dealing with the type of people what I'm saying? that I deal with, it's like they they know the real and the fake. So when the dude sent it to me, he he they already knew that I ain't on that. I ain't on no like FBI. You see, Rain don't know me. You dig what I'm saying? He know this entertainment stuff because I'm the opposite of what he talking about. So it was funny, but it ain't funny. Yeah, I and it, it ain't funny because he's representing Dallas and the DFW in Texas and to some extent, and he make us look like real peons when you do this. And he do other kind of shit that's weird as hell, but that was just like really dry and weird to try to stop something I'm doing. I'm not even messing with our people right now. I'm messing with our people, but I'm not messing with our people. You dig what I'm saying? I'm doing a whole documentary on a Latino culture in a city where you can't even come to, man. Why are you and these people DM telling them how you feel about me? Like it's going to matter. And then you, then you talking about some police shit. Like, come on, man. That's just like he need a muzzle, bro. Because he, he said that shit is poison. Do you think it's because you and him both had dealings? Well, Mo three had dealings with K Breezy, and then, then you managed K Breezy. Do you think that caused y'all to have some it's, friction? It's, it's, it's all of that. He Rain think that he is. Uh, well, I don't know what he think he is, but I know who I am. So there's gonna be a good versus evil. You dig what I'm saying? Well, who is the good and who's the I'm evil? the good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. That's, yeah, 
That's easy. So, yeah, so, and I'm just messing with you, but I really am serious about the fact of this because he spoke a little bit on Kay Breezy and her, you know, being she around. She wasn't even around. But that she deal. wasn't, you know, when she started doing certain things, that's why they kind of backed off of her. And they didn't back off. She left because of him. He just ain't. Okay, he, break they, that down. You got a lot of people that come on these things in front of these mics and put these earphones on and they just lie, E. They get up here and tell lies, man. We're going to get to the other liar in a minute, but that was a blatant lie. She was there because of Mo3. She left because of Rain and the situations that they were getting put in. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. That's the real truth. So Rain was, you th You felt like he was influenced things. Nobody is around Rain because of Rain. Even Dun Dun and Seven, Pink Pressure was there because of Mo3. They not, nobody is around that shit because of Rainwater. He is nobody to nothing. He's just in a position like other guys that's been out here, and they are stuck in those positions. There's ha there hasn't been any growth. So when y'all pop out with Boss Talk 101, he got all this other stuff popping out. Y'all come across a Supreme, a Rainwater, a Say Cheese, a Half Pain, and y'all, oh, yeah. But I'm knowing the breakdown of all of this shit, and there has been no growth. It's just people that were thrust into positions. You dig what I'm saying? And we and some of us still, I mean, all, well, pretty much all of us are still who we are, but if those jokers would have grew, the whole shit would be bigger. It wouldn't be like this. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? What? He has a platinum artist that's passed away now. He uh, ain't got shit. Well, he, he was managing him. Uh, yeah, all right. And this here caused him to be in that whole algorithm to where he ends up on the billboard. That's awards. the first he time I heard that. That's yeah, the, that's he the proper up, way to put yeah, it. Yeah, he ends up in the out. <laughs> no, I'm saying because he, he really like, right. Now nah, they go to doing interviews when his when his artist dies. Like that shit is cool or something. Like now nah, he know what to say or he the guy to go to for advice. Mm -hmm. He ain't none of that. He gonna poison the whole shit. You so, but he ends up on the on the on the Billboard Awards. He ends up on the Grammy <laughs> Awards. Uh, he's representing uh, really to me the Dallas area because he's he ends up on these bigger you know platforms because of what Mo three done. Uh, did you, you you seen all of this happening in real time or you didn't nah, know? Not at all. Yeah, he you, ends up you on there. You just told me something that he I, I don't know. He ends up know on there because of his artists and nominations and all that good yeah. stuff. So there are some things that went on with him that are really you know. Positive toward a brand. What is he doing with it though? I, I don't what know. What artist that you had come up pretty? He signed. Where he at? I'm pretty Since sure he's trying to three, get the hell away from him. Uh, it was Baby C. Baby C came on here. He one of the saw, young. He signed a girl too. Uh, that's the girl he talked about. Uh, she Pink gone, pressure. Boy. She gone. No, 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 no. It was just recently. He did another girl. Yeah, she black. I mean, I'm gonna say black, but I don't know. If she was. He signed him or not. But I like Baby C a lot. <clears> that that I, I do like. He's very respectful. He from North Carolina though, and he did come. He up don't know. He don't know. He don't know. Nah, he don't know. So, do, do you think, okay, because you one of the guys that left here, went to Atlanta, did some dealing down there. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I think Kenny B told me he came down to Atlanta. Was it Kenny they B? They all did. Yeah. And, and also, so not not so Lucci, but uh, uh, Go Yeah Yo. He all came to Atlanta. Yeah. How much did that influence their career? When they so, when, when they started you know uh, well, blossoming when well, they started to grow and develop. What people don't know is that um, those artists the the city of Fort Worth popped those artists Atlanta that was just a a perception move you dig with them just like going to New That's York. That's something you came up For with. For sure, all of this shit is from me. All of this shit is from Supreme. Like I ain't bragging, but this is the truth. Like they didn't know what the hell to do. They was kids. You feel me? So I say we're gonna go to New York and shoot a video in Times Square. We're gonna go to Atlanta. We're going to go to the beach and do this. We're going to go to L.A. with Solo Lucci and do this. And we're going to do all. It was a perception thing. And it worked. So how did you. Because I, I had Solo Lucci on here. How did you end up dealing with Solo Lucci? Period. Like how, so, what um, type of way did, are y'all connected? I came across Lucci through Yayo. And that was like Solo Lucci's baby mama is who put the blonde streak in Yayo's head. You feel me? Solo Lucci, baby mama. Yeah, put the sure. blonde streak. Before he had the blonde streak. Yeah. It wouldn't have been a blonde streak except for he came through. That was, was still yeah, Atlanta. for sure. Where you at? Where me and Lucci was at. Both from forward. Lucci what, was there What made me. him do it? I mean, like, so. Somebody put the blonde streak? Yeah. They all was doing it. No, but I want to know, because that day he got his first blonde streak. I mean, and that, and that, that blonde streak in Yayo head was monumental in her story, because that yeah. shit set forth a lot of the things. That's that, you right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what made him do it, but I just know when he did it, it was some cool ass shit. And it was from Lucci, them, and all them. Just, Lucci already had it. Yeah, for sure. Lucci had it. Johnny Damn D had it. A uh, few people. It's a, it's a forward thing. Spud Boom. But that 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 boat was something different. 
Okay. The blonde boat was something way different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. The thing I, I know about is, is 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 his brand flourished. He he blew up. He, That's he, how I met Lucci though. Through that. Through that. Yeah. 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 For sure. That was your first time mm -hmm. meeting Lucci. That's dope. Cause you you were with, Goyeo. He was with me. He was. Uh, he was. I'm sorry. He was with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Yo, I ain't. We ain't doing no more playing no more. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I get it, man. Yeah. So when you when you uh, think about just uh, what what made you get into managing? Man, uh, Yayo was 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 having dealings with one of my homegirls, and of course I'm older than Yayo, and she brought him to me in Atlanta. I didn't know nothing about none of this shit out here. I didn't know nobody. I was in Atlanta. I had already. And I was, I was, uh, I had did what I was gonna do, and I was done. Wow! And so, so I was in Atlanta. So y'all end up making that decision to work together. Yeah, he came to Atlanta, and that's what happened. None of this shit was out. None of these, none of this shit that's going on. None of this shit. Get money, little runnies. Who gave me Sean Cotton, Half Pint, and Dark Skin the Plug? He gave me their phone numbers and said, "Supreme, this is who we need." I said, "Say less," and I called them niggas and activated the whole shit. That's what happened. That's what set forth the whole DFW because. None of these people were who they were before Buddy gave me their number and we made that happen. Wow. So what? you got to understand, I mean, to cut you off, no, so yeah, yo had Pank shooting his videos. I was managing him. Give Money Little Runny is helping him with his, with, his, with his lyrics. Dark Skin the Plug has got the World Star shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and Mozo, I was doing the graphics. So you can't fuck with us. Like, it's a whole thing going on and we didn't even know we was doing that. You dig what I'm saying? We was just doing shit and it worked. Like, literally... Everybody became who they are because of that situation. So y'all had a team before y'all knew y'all had for a team. For sure. So we didn't know what we were doing. For the things that you have accomplished in your in your career, do you feel like you get to just do? Um like Do you think you get the proper respect like what you, and like recognition? What, what, what is that what does that for, mean? You though? you paved the way for a lot of different artists that we speak on. Uh you had you had your fingers in it. I'm yeah. not gonna, you you had your fingers in the in in the in the and mist. these bloggers these bloggers a lot of these a lot of these bloggers bloggers these, too yeah, but, but I mean I'm talking about the the the, the um, from K Breezy you you've dealt with her from uh, uh, I can answer that question all of the uh, uh, solo Lucci uh, uh, Kenny B uh, all of the different people uh, you know uh, Go Yayo do you feel like people give you the proper respect for all the things that you had, um, uh, had you I feel like my name come up with. enough and, and it's heavy enough cause I get a lot of love like I, I literally like now I can't really go places and people don't know me so I was in Atlanta so I didn't get to experience the supreme shit because I was out there for six years so now that I'm here like people know me like every, everywhere I go Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington but when it comes to getting to just do that ain't something that I that I really care about anymore because it's it's not real anyway. Okay. This shit fake. All this shit is fake. You dig what I'm saying? Why, well, how is it fake? I mean, if people recognize you um, and they like what you're doing and what you I mean, you presented, you if that was a movie to come out about the Fort Worth artists and some of the Dallas artists and that you've been influential in life, would, would you would be in that in that sure. movie? So how is it fake? Because it was when something that was fake, created. The, the people that that you would want to get your just do from. Um, We'll speak on the fans. They don't know that these people ain't who they think they are, and the people that's out here portraying these who they are, they fake. So I don't, I you know, what's gonna happen with me? The Lord got control of it. It's gonna happen anyway, because they know if I was anything like people ever made up about me, I wouldn't still be in these positions. I wouldn't still. It, this is a nice place. You got about seven cameras in here. This is about twenty thousand dollar worth of stuff up in here. I get to come up in here and I ain't gave you no money. Yeah, correct. Do you get what I'm saying? Though. So exactly. So that's what's more important to me. People that just do from them, they know what's up for real. They'll never be able to sit in front of me and have a, a intellectual conversation because they know they can't fuck with me and nothing. They just uh -huh. now they got a problem because now I'm talking. Okay. You feel me? I get it. Now let's get to this. Let's get I, to I, the I, that I, guy that I, was you, so happy yeah, that yeah, talked about you talking about the shit. Sean Cotton yeah, when, when Sean Cotton's on there. Your name came up. Now, yeah. now first, before we talk about that, let me just say this. When this happened, I called you because you my boy. I said, look, man, <laughs> your name came up in an interview. You really got mad at me. You shut me down. Here, so. He hung up the phone. <laughs> nah, nigga, F that nigga. Why y'all tag me in? Bam, nigga hung up on me. I said, this nigga done lost his damn mind. <laughs> the nigga got upset with me because of what had happened, but I was doing it because 
I wanted to respect you because I wanted you to know this stuff is about to come out. At first, I was like, should I put this out? I even asked you. Yeah, you and asked you me. like, no. Nah. And then me and my wife were like, no, nah, I'm going to go and put it out. Cause you told I me, felt you, like, you probably don't, but you told me you was going to put it out too. You called me <laughs> and said that too. You probably don't remember. But, but I still wanted to respect you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you my guy. And I was like, man, this, this, is, this is the culture. Yeah, and and I was like, man, this happened. So I don't. I want you to know I mean, that yeah, this is how it went down. So <laughs> when I asked Sean Cotton about you, he he had a lot to say. He was very he was adamant to say, hey man, he was he, he he say, hey, woo, you know, yeah, my boy, <laughs> man. I'm like, and he was like, he, got so he never ever shit. even met K Breezy. In his life, oh, he man. said, and, and we all, I think you even asked him, would you even know her if, if she even came? Yeah, if you see him. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, I would know her, but I never knew, I never met her. And he, so it's almost to say what you even thought to say about him uh, stopping her career. Just break down to me what the hell is going on with that. So Sean is a guy that, um, that I, uh, that I met when I was managing Yayo. And like okay. I said, um, we was all in the same hue, the same pot together, you feel me? So he know I know him and he also know that I don't I don't really be doing this type of shit. You dig what I'm saying? So they'll sneak some shit because he didn't say nothing bad about me. He just said he hasn't talked to me since Yayo. That's a lie. He's, I think he said, why would he want to hate on him? Or why I don't, He don't know why you hate on him. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but but just, just explain to me. But but explain to me. He's nobody to hate on. Like uh, like he got man. So this the thing. If you, I don't want to hate on nobody that has at least ten artists in this area and fucked up deals right now to this day. And if they and if they ain't in them fucked up deal, they just got out of them. So you saying Sean Cotton got Sean ten Cotton, artists? At least well, let's be let's be specific. Let's say maybe I know of at least five. I can say right now. That he didn't got down on you dig what I'm saying, but that's neither here nor there. Y'all do y'all research. You dig what I'm saying? That's these is facts though. But I see I mean, why everybody. Why, why, why they be trying right, to slap Wait a minute. Let me say this. That nigga got a brand over there and it's moving. But His that whole, shit ain't shit. But the but numbers fake. Spot all him that got shit. him. All them Who? dudes. Spot why, him got so why him. these guys this? always be trying to attack this guy after the fact? Rod Wave said he gonna slap him. He he a, he a punk bitch. Uh, Rod Wave said that. It's on the internet for sure. Yeah, everybody know that. There was another little Kevin artist Gates, that came out. It's all these artists come out, man. The guy that was just, just uh, I don't know what little town he was in, but he hopped on the internet. And I seen that. People try to try to shun him like he lying, but he not lying. That's what he said is literally how that dude is. What did he say? Do you? I don't remember what he said. I'm in a fucked up deal and I can't get out. The nigga came lying into my mama. It's all kind of shit. Those is facts though. That's what he do. You, what did you think when you seen like, damn, he got him? He, it's another one. <laughs> it's Who one. is it? It's I forgot a, his name. Little dude, little, I little forgot. The little dark skin. I seen mm. him going maybe in. From Georgia, maybe. Was yeah, he's from Georgia. But but the the thing. But but the fact of the matter is, when this thing uh, starts to develop, you know, far as these artists that yeah, he yo put say cheese in position, man. That's if yeah, yo and Sauce Walker put that page in position. And like I said, there was there's been no growth in those guys. They was thrust into those positions, and they still in them, and they were some fucked up people. And that's why this place is how it is. So you do, you you think that that because because from what what what's going on now, what's really going down is a sports agency and a, a label, a record label. I mean, a a a you know he he is a, a full fledged label now, according to what I'm hearing. Uh, okay, what that mean? So what, what like what does that mean? Some old artists finna get fucked over. Yeah, he, he ready. He said he, he probably fucked over some, and some fucked over him. Who gonna fuck? How you gonna fuck over I, him? That what came out his mouth. Like, but how is that possible though? Logically right. thinking, how can you fuck over that type of thing? Bro, you I did. Don't know. Them words came out his mouth. Those are lies. We well, everybody tell lies. So. Yeah. So you gotta pick them out. So you, you when he when he said that. Basically, he didn't know K. Breezy, and he didn't stop her career. Explain to me why K. Breezy yeah. went for a three-day rant on a guy that she never met one day in her life. That messed up her career. That messed up her career. Because that's exactly what he alluded of, to. Of course he's met her before with A-Tony Films. He'll act like he hasn't, but he has. So he did meet her yeah, with A-Tony. he's met K. Breezy. Like, that's a damn... Man. Who is A-Tony Films? She shoots out of videos for K. Breezy. She shoots a lot of videos out here. They oh, that's the, that's the little girl that be with Spot him, got him. She out here. She shoots shit for Spot him. I didn't so need, that's how that's how her. you know she know. So and and they met each other. They Who met Tony. And, yeah. and and so they do know each other. 
like far as uh, they've like, seen each other, yeah, been in the same room. Each other hands what did sure. he have to do with her career though? Like, so how could he have stopped deal, her career? We signed the deal is with Say La V, which is which is Stan, and Stan is Sean Cotton's partner in, in the business. Business partner, you dig what I'm saying? Let me say so, them two so people. DJ Duffy and Sean Cotton are who are his 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 patrolmen to go out here in this area and get the artists and shit. That's how we even came across Stan was through yeah. Duffy. So when he get up here in line and say I wasn't around when Breezy signed the deal, I was at the table, me, Mr. Johnson, which is the City Girls lawyer, yeah. and King, King Vaughn lawyer, her brother, the producer, K Breezy, and Supreme. You dig what I'm saying? We like he he was there hiding. He never showed his face. Even Stan was trying to get us to cause he would he tell people I don't have a problem with Supreme. You have to say that, though. That's the politically correct answer because you really don't have a problem with me. You're just a hater. Yeah. And, and I'm the truth. So just like when he told people that he he told Yayo not to take the QC deal. That's a damn lie in a million years. We hopped in my Jeep in my house in Atlanta and drove Coach K sent us the address and, bu and Pete buzzed us in. Well, nobody there but me and Yayo. No, and Yayo wasn't even in the meeting when we had the meeting. It was Coach K right here and P right here. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. was in the in the in their in the studio doing a Zaytoven beat. You dig what I'm saying? So it yeah. just to be a lot of lies going on, man. Because when we left there, we went to Warner Brothers, um, Atlantic Call, the guy who signed Charlie Pugh and Kevin Gates and yeah. Kalani. We went to 300. This shit is happening without nobody helping us with shit. Me and Yayo, and I didn't spend a lot of money. I ain't spent a lot of money with none of my artists. That's how I know this is a blessing. So like I said previously, when those guys go to doing all the hating and shit, it don't mean nothing to me because I know. How I walk and I know what's going on. Yeah, so you. now we doing this documentary on the the La Rasa, and you, you here come rainwater with this dry Hayden. But I'm thinking I'm over here somewhere where you can't fuck with me at, and here here they come again. You dig what I'm saying? But uh, it's it's out there now. It's, you know, with me, all publicity is good publicity. Why do you think they keep coming at you? Um, I think they come at the movements. It ain't me. They don't really. They don't have a problem because if they was in here right now, they gonna act like they seen a star. They're going to shake my hand and hug me and smile, and they're going to go over here and sit down. They're not going to be on none of that shit. So I can't tell you. It's a tricky question, but I don't think like them, so I don't know. Wow. So <clears throat> when you when you um, you you say that these, these guys, okay, um, Sean Cotton never, I'm going back to him because I want to understand how he said that these guys pretty much that was using, that you guys met with, would use him as a plot to get people to sign to say that they could be on Say Cheese. He said what? The guys that you guys met with in Miami, the Miami those people. Those are his, those are his He stands. says, hold on. Okay, let me say this. All that shit he be flashing in Miami, that ain't his. That's Stan shit. Okay. Because he want to be technical. None of that, the weed shit, all them, that ain't his shit, man. That's a, man, Okay, but he, he said, said that was his business partner. Correct. That he said, same. but he Say said like that me. they they but that's why he don't do business with them no more yeah. because he said they would use say cheese as a as a as a, like a springboard to get people, which makes sense. No, nah, but he's lying to get bro. people to sign because they know they would have a say cheese play. You know yeah. what I mean? They get to play their videos. The say, uh, they get the interview with say cheese. They get the they get to the open that gate up. up. Yeah. And when that didn't happen for K Breezy, you guys felt like y'all was no, let down. This 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 the thing. We only went over there with them for TikTok. We had everything else. K Breezy was the only artist in the Metroplex going getting paid to come to the middle schools, high schools, and elementary schools. Nobody was doing that. Not nobody. So when Stan and reach out to us, to us through DJ Duffy, we get down there. We don't know Sean's involved. When we find that he's involved, we're like, okay, whatever. We still trying to do business because business is over everything, right? Yeah. So you, so now look at, think about this, y'all. You signed to this company. I told you this before, E. So in your best interest is to make money, right? So if I got a hot artist, if I like your ass or not, if I know you hot and I post you, it's going to make me money. Why wouldn't I do that? So he posted her one time because Stan made him, and he posted her again and, and we're trying to clown her by the, by the hairstyle that we did on a, uh, for an album cover. It didn't work. It backfired. So he the, the, What didn't work? The fact that when he tried to clown he her? He tried to clown her. And but everybody, it didn't work. Hell, no, nah, it didn't work. Okay. Nah, it didn't work. So those are two posts that he, that, he, that he made for her. You dig what I'm saying? Now, we didn't beg for those posts, but... Ignorant ass little boy, if this is your company and you can make money from this hot artist, 
Why not post her to make money? Well, this same thing not gonna happen. Do you have different boundaries put in? We have paperwork aligned for the Because you and Tune had a, a I looked at that project and it wasn't just a, it wasn't a bad project. It was actually, I enjoyed the project. I went over, for I sure. watched it. Uh, I, that was my first time really locking in and seeing OG Percy because I wasn't tapped into him like mm-hmm. that. When I seen you guys' as documentary, you guys were working together because you put me on the phone with uh, Tune that day. And I met Tune at the Lennox Mall in Atlanta. Yeah. And, and you guys was real tight. You he, was, guys, he was staying with me when you met him. He was living with you. Yeah. So. Just like Sean Kyle used to sleep on my damn floor all the time. All the time. Sean Cotton used to live at your house. He didn't there. live with me, but whenever he came to Atlanta, he, he you know, come on, you good. Two, three days, I, you know, come on. It ain't no problem. So you let him you let him stay yeah. there for free? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I didn't need no, I didn't want no posts. I didn't want none of that. When they deleted his page the first time, he called me. And I called a guy that worked for Grand Hustle, and, and we was on the phone, and he told him how to get his page back. Wow. These is true story facts, man. These ain't he, these. I don't gotta lie about none of this shit. That's crazy, ain't he involved? Ain't he? he ain't want to tell this out. What? <laughs> they ain't want to tell this out. They don't want to tell this side. I didn't know that. I didn't know you and him and, knew and, each and, other and, like and that. And he wasn't broke. That's what I'm saying. Like it wasn't no, it wasn't no broke shit involved. Like he, so he wasn't broken, and he just nah. like being around you. Those guys look up to me, man. Right now, they watch my page from fake pages. Right now, you say so. Sean How you Cotton, think Rain sending messages Rain to people? Water. Uh, tune, all tune. Of them. They look up to you. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. So you like a like some, they look at your brand and they wanna they they, they, they flourish. They, they, they admire at my you. mind. You dig what I'm saying? That's what it is. And yeah. they they could never uh, be like me because they can't do what I do or go where I go. But their admiration comes from the the intellect or whatever you wanna you know. What I'm saying? They admire the, you. The ideas and yeah, hell yeah. Wow. Half cool. paint doing a music review now. That's literally my thing. So you gave Half Paint that idea? Gave it to him. And he, you and him know that, that my, you... I, I paint my guy, though. I don't got no... You ain't never heard me get on here and try to down paint No, no, ain't nothing wrong with it. I just didn't know, yeah. but you gave him the He'll idea tell you that. to do the reviews. Most definitely, a thousand percent, a million percent. He got it from me. He Damn. came in. I pulled up on him to do it with him. This guy sitting behind me is one of the guys we did it with, one of the first people we did it with together, me and Paint. How do you be coming up with all these ideas and helping a city like this? That's why I say everything that's going on, he be involved here. Mm-hmm. You got to fit in. But you just you just like to give your input. No, nah, it, it be so the situation we manage in the artist, that's 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 me solely. Me and them, because those, cre- those are creative artists. You dig yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, correct. It's us working together to do. Everybody that I work with was creative. So this is the thing. I'm not taking nothing from a Sean Cotton, a, a Tune, a, those are smart guys. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Rainwater not smart at all, but those other guys. <laughs> you ain't letting Rain nah, make he, it. Nah, he, he, he ain't. He Most, can't. A lot of people like Rain nah, and say he's smart, he's man. He's not in that category, though. Those, those niggas are different. But you he's the saying? only one out of them. And, and Cotton listen. can't fuck with Tune. He ain't smart as Tune. Yeah, but the numbers say different. The numbers are, are, are let me tell you something. E. The numbers Hold say on, different. Let me, let me tell you something. When you're in Rome, homie, you do as Romans do, bro. Do you understand what that mean? Yeah, when you you're in Rome, they, it's cloud chasing. You do it wrong. No, so if 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 Money Moses got a hundred thousand views, I get a hundred thousand. Miss Jamaica get a hundred thousand. You got ten thousand, nigga. You ain't in Rome, but now you didn't figure out how to get your numbers up to a hundred thousand with us. So now you in Rome, nigga. When you in Rome, you do as Romans do. You feel me? If everybody in there is 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 pimping, then it's, it's gonna be a pimping uh, area. You dig what I'm saying? Though that that shit is fabricated and, and 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 a lot of that shit is 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 man. You think that these are a lot of I fake know, followers? I know it's not. I think I know this. I, I know this. These is thousand percent facts. He ain't the only one either. So you saying that you think there's a lot of guys? Yeah, I know for a fact there's a lot of them. <coughs> fake followers. Um, see the follower game. They they know how to match that now. But the views and the comments, man. I know the guy. Who, man, say. <laughs> this funny to you. I know. So you said these li- views no, are fabricated. One of the biggest artists out here got a million views, and the guy who put it on there, he called me on one iPhone and, and had the other one holding up and showed me the PayPal information and the views and how he did the shit. And these are blue checked artists. Hell yeah. So these guys are fabric. Are, is it a fake it till you make it type situation? When you're in Rome, you do as Romans do. For real. 
Wow. So I don't want to do what Romans do, so that's why I don't get what I'm, you feel me? Yeah, but you're not still, gonna, you too real to be fake. Exactly, but I still get to do what I do because I'm a real guy. You so you just saying? not gonna buy into the buying of making the blue check nah, happen, nah, nah. uh buying the views. Being and, gay, kissing ass, uh being a punk, lying, I ain't into that. I wasn't raised like that before this, so I ain't finna do it now. So wow. that's to answer your question a while ago. That's why I don't get that, because I ain't like that. Wow, so you 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 definitely opened my eyes, you know. It was a few it was a guy named K Torn Fame came on here and he had a <laughs> wait, wait, he had a million subscribers, bro. K Twan Yeah, he came on here and do I mean he said Drake Why had, you bring his name up though? No, because he said Drake had texted him and, and stuff like that. That you when you start saying like people were saying that he fabricated all his Man, views. I know and K Twan ain't cool guy. Uh, I don't, I don't and know. then they said about Drake, you know, it was just and so when you bring up the topic that these other guys are doing the same oh, thing. I watched them do it. I, I, I speak on shit I know about. But you know I, for yeah, a fact yeah, that, that, sure. that, yeah. that that certain one of these high profile. Yeah, man. These bloggers too, man. The bloggers do it? Man, they do it the worst. Mm -hmm. Come on, E, stop playing games. Nah, I don't man. know. Is this, is this a real interview question or you nah, being for I'm real? I'm being right real because I'm being honest with uh, you. A yeah. few of them, I look at their views and their followers and their subscribers nah, and I be looking at all. Now, nah, nah, some a lot of them do. No, so a lot of them don't add up. The ones you probably look at add up, but a lot of them around, it's not adding up. And I said and watch a dude get his page deleted, and I said and I, I said and watched him bump forty thousand in two minutes. You hear me? <laughs> I ain't damn. playing. God I, I sat there and watched this shit. Bump, <laughs> bump forty. I sat there and watched this. How much shit. he paid? I don't know how much he paid, but, but I watched But you seen the nigga? But number went up in the same day. What? In the same hour? <laughs> yeah. God damn. These are facts. Bro, all mine is organic. I can promise yeah, you that. Stay like, stay like I that. ain't touch nothing. All I don't even know too. why. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got over the house. I know all mine. <laughs> 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 nah, man. So, do, do you think you would... So, because K. Breezy... I ain't working with none of them, E, so don't ask me. What about uh, K. Breezy? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bre uh, the artist, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But those how, other how's guys, she doing? I mean, I'm trying oh, to get great. her back on the show. You won't she, ever bring she, her back? She lovely. She lovely right now. Oh, she, is she interview? open for interview? Can you get her back uh, on the show? I can get her up here. Okay, man. I, I, K. Breezy, oh, I want to yeah. interview her again. I love her, man. I she lit question, these man. mics up, nigga. I want to get a freestyle. I had a girl came the other night. I can't wait to get hers out. Uh, she was there. Uh, I don't forgot her. What is her name? Nichelle? What's her name? Nichelle. Nichelle lit this hoe up the other night. What? She lit this hoe up, man. Hey, man, I can't. I gotta get K Breeze back in here, man. I need me. I need a fresh uh, at least sixteen bars. She gotta give me some. Yeah, I loved it when she came, man. Y'all came in here, man. She went down through there, man. Them t-shirts. Oh yeah, for sure. Come yeah, on, man. You got the jacket already, man. You yeah. boss talk uh, affiliated, man. You come through with these interviews, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, so, I, I, you see, I, I stayed away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, 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 you more. You, you, this is probably one of the more vocal interviews. I ain't gonna lie. You yeah. know, like you really used it, kind of just. I, I kept you down at bay because the first time you came on here, you want to get loose. <laughs> I wouldn't let you get loose on nobody. But now, you know, since your name have been spoken on the show, when I ask yourself this, why do they keep saying my name? Like, why, why, like, like, why do you keep? Why my name keep coming up? But you have a lot of hands and a lot of things that happen in the city, man. Yeah, I understand. So, that, um, so I mean, and you niggas is is is, is competitive, man. <laughs> Damn, like, do you think Dallas is where I need to be with the music? Is there any hits out here? What's going on? Because nah. I remember I talked to you before, and you was kind of like alluding to it was some good music out here. Um, so it's always good music. It's always talent. It's always um uh movements and waves that are going to come about. Now, what's going to happen for it to get to the mainstream? I can't tell you that no more. I don't know. Cause it's, so, it's not a it's not a one problem situation. It's not a the artists do this and they they keep beefing and sh doing all that gun shit. It's the people that can help them also. I've told you this before too that it ain't just the artists. It's everybody. It's all this shit is messed up. Cause you got people like I said, old buddy get to speak now, um, and get to not well he he gets listened to a little more now because his artist passed away. That's not proper. Because he ain't got shit proper to tell nobody. Artists did pass away. What was the name of that guy that passed away? Mo3. No, I'm not, I wasn't talking about him. I'm talking about, didn't, uh, what's the name of that artist? Did, I thought it was artist signed to Say Cheese that passed away too. I don't know. It was a little dude that passed away. Well, they, oh, Lil Loaded. Lil Loaded, yeah. Loaded. yeah. So, so let, let, me, let, me, let me tell you this. So, so this is how you know that Sean Cotton is lying. Stan, Lil Loaded was at my house in the studio with me and Breezy at the house though, right? 
Stan asked me to manage Lil Loaded. He said, Supreme, once you manage Lil Loaded, I looked at the message and I didn't respond. Lil Loaded was sitting where you at. I was like, I was like, you so Stan? I said, don't he don't 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 Sean manage him? He said, nah, he don't manage him. He said, you can manage him, no, I I'll hook it up. I said, I right, bet. So when I, I when I asked Lil Loaded, I said, hey, uh, hey man, uh, you fool with Sean? He said, yeah, I fool with Sean. Yeah, yeah, woo-woo. And I left it alone because I already knew that when the word got back to to um Sean, he was gonna salt. He was gonna throw it, they was gonna hate. That's what they do. They make up shit, man, and they just and see that shit I caught with Rain, he didn't think them them little dudes was gonna send me that, but they did. And just think about the stuff that I don't catch. Cause I don't catch it all. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask a little loaded, you knew this guy. He was at the house, yeah. Man, I know all these people. Yeah. So what what were you doing dealing with little loaded? Man, what you mean? I'm, I'm supreme. I'm trying to figure out what. <laughs> I'm supreme. Why was Lil Loaded at your house? Recording. He came to record. <laughs> and you used to let him record there? Yeah. Wow. Facts. Wow. Rest hey. in peace. Cool little dude, man. Cool little dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, like I said, he just, it seemed like he uh, seemed like he was just gone too soon, man. Went through a lot. Didn't he yeah. lose a friend or something like yeah, that? Yeah, he did a lot. Of, then, then, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he went through a lot, man. But, uh, um. Just uh, man, just a lot of uh, just a, a plethora of different things that you've dealt with. And I make movies, man. You hear me? We really into the film. So y'all doing movies now? Yeah, man. I'm Not on my just second documentaries. One. We doing it all, man. Bro, film. We in the movie. film world. What you want to get in? When you ready? We doing it. <laughs> a... I bet you hear this. All right, yeah, you playing? No, I, ain't. I ain't playing. All right. dead ass. You gonna put the boy in a movie? Did you see? He just got my drop. I just got a drop from him. Yeah, you did a drop with dope too. All right. So, so man, how long, how's the movie thing going? How did, what made you get in there? Man, I see, see, I thought I was escaping these niggas. You want to get away from the French. rappers. You were trying to get yeah, away. Yeah, and it didn't work. They, they, they came and found me. And they shit. get away from the rappers. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even messing with black people right now. They sure come this nigga drain water with this drain shit. water. Yeah, drain water. Cocaine <laughs> rain. That's cocaine rain, man. Wow, y'all ain't know that. No, oh, man. man, I ain't never heard to talk to him like that, man. So, um, I mean, so like, y'all dealing with internet supreme man, right now. Man, rainwater. Me? Like I say, he come over here. He, he always have a lot to say, man. He talk a lot about his different things that he got going on. Man, done, dude, done. I, I, he got so done, I, done. I, I, I heard seven. that. I done heard some shit that that dude done said on man. That shit's so crazy, and I know people just can't be believing none of that shit, man. You like can't what? tell me, man. I'm not repeating that, that ignorant <laughs> crap, man. I mean, I made a million dollars. Boy, stop lying, boy. Stop it. Wow, man. It becomes yeah. it becomes comedic. But could you and Rain ever sit down and, and just talk and and, and kind of hash things out on the things that that you guys sit down with? where. Like, wherever, like, have a conversation. Could it solve, like, the issues that where uh, uh, things are being said behind, you know, each that other? That question I already got answered. Yeah, yeah, I can sit down with Rain. Yeah. I, I, I'm a man. I'm cool. You know, and I, and so I, you sat down with Terry Blue, and it, it went pretty That was cool. a mistake. What? <laughs> it's a fucking mistake. Why was that a mistake? Man, that was a mistake, man. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, but I would sit down. I thought it was dope to see y'all sit so down I, together. So, Beezy TV, shout out Beezy. That's the only reason I wouldn't have did that. You dig what I'm saying? I don't know Beezy. I know Terry. I don't know Beezy. I never you met him. You need to, you, yeah, you mess with the wrong one then. So, because so, Terry always been clear. He, he never Man. did nothing to me. But, I mean, I don't know what you guys have. But, y'all, y'all. Well, you, uh, when, you are a threat. How, when last time you talked to him? I talked to him in a little bit. Since when? It's been about a couple of months. He's been on here. So, about how many months, though? Two maybe, probably maybe longer. No, about two months. Uh, I mean, you, you you um you a threat. You dig what I'm saying? Now y'all kind of like on the same. Well, he ain't got shit. And they need to change that name. They need to change that name from Dallas Global to some other type of name because don't nobody know him in Minnesota or Atlanta or Iowa or LA. They don't even know him in Louisiana. So you and him, I thought y'all had straightened nah, everything nah, out. No, nah. I seen him another day though. Y'all seen? So y'all were rocking. Hell no, nah. he what? he was walking, damn near running. The nigga running from you? <laughs> <laughs> Man, come on, y'all be tripping, bro. Y'all, I thought y'all was cool. <laughs> nah, he ain't playing. I wasn't finna do nothing to him, but I seen him and you know they be on the internet. Like I was telling you, they be really be doing all of that. And I ain't no big dude, but you ain't finna. We gonna have to, you know what I'm saying? So when I seen him, he act like he ain't see me. I stood there. I said, okay. 
Man, I don't want to talk about that. What else you got, man? We, we ain't got to do all that. Wow, man. man I thought y'all was cool again, nah, to be honest ain't, with nah, you. we not cool at all, man. Because you had did his show. It seemed like y'all, when y'all did that nah. show, you it see, was just he tried, a, to, he tried to come with some little, I had to check him on the show. Y'all had a, a little, it was a little spice, but that, that's yeah. what Money Moses do on here. Nah, not like that. No, I'm saying Money Moses do, not like y'all, but I'm just saying, he talked with nah, people. Nah, Money Moses would have seen that, he would have been like, okay, yeah, you upset. <laughs> nah, nah. To be honest with you, I don't think nobody want to sit in front of me and talk about shit like that. Cause I'm, I'm gonna get pissed off and I wanna fight right there. You can't do that. You 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 money <laughs> Moses. I understand that, bro. I'm still I'm glad how I feel. I'm the hell is you off. talking about? You can't so do listen, that. I'm letting people know now. If you want to sit in front of me, make sure your gloves gonna be on. Make sure you have them with you. What you the might hell? Have to See, this is why the nigga be talking about money. Money Moses. No, you might have to use them. You might have to use them. They bring them aggressive and they be like that nigga. That's why I don't allow know about that nigga. That nigga. Listen, they think I be playing like I'm not like this, bro. I'm like this everywhere I go. So if you ever try me, just watch it. Hey, just watch yourself, bro. I'm like this everywhere I go, bro. Just not no act. I know none of that This is real <laughs> if, you, if you set up with something I don't want to sit down With none of these dudes I really really don't But I would do it For the cause of the Metroplex And Texas I love and to see y'all Get things But it would never happen be. Because they scared You know I've been telling people About the we are the world movement That Michael Jackson yeah. did You're in the that's wrong area come, For that my yeah. brother <laughs> Hold on Listen That's why come Chris Brown Could never, on, could never be Could never just be uh, 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 Michael Jackson Because he never did A we are the world To bring people together To try to bring a cause together We need to do that Bob And you need to be Better. Hey it's a you need to be on the front line of trying to bring this city together with a almost we are the world type movement. He just threw it up and brought it down. You didn't catch it. What? You can't say what he just said. He just said he didn't say that he can sit down with them, but he don't think already. He already cut himself out. Bro. He don't think they'll do it. No, no, he ain't that. He's like he don't, he don't, he'll do it for the culture. Go ahead and just keep it like that. You had the other words you said. I I probably said something to your ass. <laughs> like, bro, you can't sit here and say that. Yeah, but I just I, I do I do it I do it for the for the for the big picture. You dig what I'm saying? But but See, they got the butt. Don't do that. Yeah, this. look, look, look. Nah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you why this all, this, I mean, this why I'm saying that cause this shit is already he called Beasy T V, Rainwater called Beasy TV on the phone and said, Call Supreme. Beasy called me, he said, Supreme, I'm finna click in with Rainwater. I said, No, you not. I said, what you want? What, what, what? I don't got time for that nigga and what he talking about. He said, man, but now, nah, Supreme, this is how we, I went to go sit down with Terry Neal. He said, nah, man, we got woo-woo. I said, all right, click me in. Soon we get on the phone, this nigga go talking crazy. We was on the phone for 30 seconds. He, <laughs> it, 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 it ain't going to happen. He, he too much, man. He, he. I got to say this about you, folks. About the rainwater, I ain't going to like lie. He, he comes on the show. But I, I want to say this, man. You was doing an interview, and you prayed for these people. I prayed for Percy. Yeah. You prayed for OG Percy. I thought either. that was dope, nah, though. man, that ain't work. Bro, you prayed for the whole... They all was on there, and you took them to yeah, the I church. I make them niggas be quiet, too. Yeah, they, you yeah. prayed on there for these folks. Why was, Why did you pray for them? You felt like he um, needed the prayer? So that came that came to me the night before. And that was... I, I wasn't playing when I did that. You dig what I'm saying? I was serious. Um, so I, I take that back. I don't feel like it was a mistake because I did it uh, genuinely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but then I had to come back and, and bite his head off. Already. After well, the fact. But you still prayed for him. Yeah, 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 I did. I'm a good guy, man. I ain't down with all of that, man. Man, like, listen, you know man. We love you, man, Supreme, man. Dope interview. Yeah. Your energy right, man. See, man, how can people get a hold to you if they trying to link up with you, get that good management? If you ain't trying to shoot no films, get no <laughs> vlogs, no documentaries, no movies, none of that, don't contact me. You don't want them to contact no. you? What about managing their music career? Uh, No. You uh, <laughs> nah. You just you manage some people. Uh yeah, but I'm if you ain't doing no vlogs, no films, no movies, no videos, don't contact me. But you can find me at Bob McGriff on Instagram, Facebook, uh YouTube. Go check out my YouTube channel blowing up right now. Yeah, yeah. The Ugly Truth. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube I'm a, channel. I'm Money Moses. You subscribe to my YouTube channel, Money We gotta oh, subscribe. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm 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 coming on up, man. I love <laughs> it, man. Thank you so much, man. No, it, 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 Big it, it, little boy. It. Say, man, you don't get mad at me no more, is you? Nah, I can't, can't get promise mad. you that. That means I love you, though. <laughs> you feel me? That's how I feel, because I be getting mad at everybody now. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can get mad at nobody, but they're around. Like, you can get mad yeah, at them. You can get mad at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, it's all good. Like you Already, man. Say, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Sure.